Morning guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today is Monday the 19th of February. It's half past seven. I've just got down to Roxham. Today I'm just going to do a bit of um, jigging. Solely for perch. I'm not even intending going for pike. I've got no pike laws or anything with me. I've just got myself a 10 foot spinning rod. Which is a two piece 10 foot spinning rod. Medium to light. I've got Shakespeare 4000 reel. I've got 14 pound high tech line on there. That's um, Akios line. I have got a, a 50 pound mono shock leader or a trace, just in case. I'm just going to start off with a little crawfish, little crayfish jig. And it's just going to go for along the river, try a few different places. Probably go to the right, uh, to the left of the bridge, to Richardson's boat yard. And we start where I was the other day fishing, to the right of the bridge, work uh, way along, just having a jig, change a few things. I've got a few little spinners in there, a um, few little soft plastics, a few little jigs. Um, worst comes to the worst, I've got a little tub of lobworms, probably about half a dozen lobworms left in there. Um, later on, I can try just put on a big hook and just jig it around with a swan shot or two or an LG on the bottom and to see what we can catch yeah today I mean I've bought my pike gear uh, forceps and bits and pieces paraphernalia just in case you do um, hook a pike and I've got my landing net and um, unhooking that just in case but uh, yeah solely going for perch um, and just jigging and see if we can catch catch anything because the last time I had about 40 50 perch um, biggest one you know, was about a pound and a bit but I'm sure there's big ones in here. So let's get down there. Come along, come with me, and uh, let's give it a go. The old mandarin ducks, geese, wherever they are. I well, was just heading, moved, heading down to the river. Just as well, I put my wellies on. Uh, it's receded quite a lot. It's receded quite a lot actually. Right. This is very muddy. Right. I think this is as good as any place. Drop that in. Get this clutch set right. The river's flooding now, uh, oh, flowing a little bit more than it was the other day. Bit of a 
snag of it. There's a weed or something. It's just bouncing on the bottom now, I can feel it. one down the edge Really, really slow. I mean, if we catch anything today, we catch, and if we don't, we don't. Just trying something new, something different. So, what it's all about just getting out there, giving it a go, trying something different. I think this jig's performing a lot better, he doesn't need the shot. I'm just giving it a little flick down the edge. Just letting it sink. And a big fish just bowed under the water. I can still feel it nicely on the bottom, just bouncing away. I'll just try a little spinner in a minute. Give it another little go. You try a faster retrieve. Keep the rod low. The release, real slow, just twitching that. And I feel every movement on the law. It's a nice light rod, I can feel everything. Oh, it's snagged again.
I mean I was contemplating last night taking the line off of here and putting 30 pound braid on but I thought if I'm just solely going for perch only in which I am I know it's, people say oh you need 30 pound braid whatever so you don't snap if you get hooked but I'm going for perch and I want to use like lures light spinners little jigs I just want to keep things as light as possible started when I was single figures catching chub on the river bane and I think your first chub was about three or four pound and that's what got me hooked tiny little uh, five six foot Woolworths starter tackle modern reel from that oh I think that was a little lunge there Like that again, definitely something pulled back. I'm just retrieving this one a little bit faster and then stopping it. Giving it two or three wines, pausing. back fairly clean. Alright, we'll have one more cast to the right and then we'll head up. <laughs> that was just exactly where I wanted it. I need to um, jig that a little bit more with this action I think. I think I need to jig that up and down a little bit more. Especially with the head shape, you know. Yeah, just bought a little selection of little MEP spinners, little laws, we've got some soft plastics. Probably going to give one of these a go in a minute. I'm going to keep this little box as it clips on as my little working box. I'll just change this. But no, I'm going to leave that one.
got a few tiny little plugs got some of these soft plastics these western shads these are the smaller versions I've got some chatter baits so I'm going to sort a little box out into that black one there so I don't have to keep going in and out my bag change this let's try a little spinner and I'll have a little sort out that's all right it's spinning the wetting flash nicely let's see Working well with this uh, light rod. Well, let's just try this. Never tried these, so. They've got sharp hooks. Mm, hook twice, one in my finger, one on my box. Okay. <laughs> Out the frying pan into the fire with that one. Right. Obviously, there's fish down there. Yep, you just had a little fish. I just see him drop it. Alright, never tried these before, the tiny. I did buy them online for pipe, but. It's a floating, but it's diving. No weeds, totally clean, that's a bit weird. Let's try that again. Well, that again. Well, there's a fish jumped out of its way. <laughs> A nice 
nice deep diving. They're definitely deep diving. But obviously as soon as you stop, they're going to start floating. So you probably work it just off the bottom. That's a good cast. That's a good cast. That's worth a fish. Sorry if this camera keeps shaking about a bit. A bullfinch is it or chaffinch? Okie dokie. One more cast and we'll move. Now I found with law fishing, it's all about balance, isn't it? It's all about balancing everything up. I always thought you need a heavy law to cast further, but you don't. You've got a nice light rod and light rear and everything's balanced. That's probably about 12 gram, if that. It's casting a fair distance. Not good. <laughs> no good. No good. No good. No good. Over there, sir. At the minute, I'm, at, I'm loving the action of this. I'm just loving. I don't know, I've got a feeling about it. It's like the way it swims. It's a nice bite size for a little jack or perch. It's uh, quite diving. somewhere else guys Let's see what's available around here probably quite a few people we'll have, we'll have a cast in here why not we really not to
Let's give this chat a bit go. Move these one quite fast to get the action going. I was going to quickly try down here where I was fishing the other day and there's obviously plenty of perch down here but that guy was just saying as well he's saying you know all the, the pike hang out in these uh, trees and rushes and that but Try and get a hit post this time. Nope, don't like the look of that one. That was going straight in the, in and around the post, wasn't it? Let's go further out. Spots of rain coming, I think. I'm going to try a few different lures here and then I'll move along. I think I'll probably try the little crayfish. And a chatterbait. do later on if we don't catch anything. I'm just gonna work this down the edge as well. We'll come back here later on with a hook and a lob worm and we'll just free line it and jig it. Let's 
going to ping this one down the edge. again then So we'll look what's in the box of tricks. Eh? I'm trying to keep in that corner because it's out of the wind nicely. Now what we'll do is take this off first. fish out. Mm. That's the one for the jig head, I don't want that one. I want the one with the bigger hook on it. And if not, we'll give one of these chat baits a go. Yeah, I'm just going to flick this down the edge. We'll work it along. I'm sure there's some big perch here, I'm sure there are. Enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. It's something different. You don't need a lot of tackle. You don't need a load of expensive gear. Fifty quid. You could be all set up and ready to go. Rod, reel. Line, a few baits, pick the baits up cheaply enough on Amazon or online or anywhere. 
There's some movement under there, look. Let's see if we can get right past the uh, end of this bush. I'm just watching that line sink back. Look at that sink. It's a lot lighter law. Okay, you only need a 10 foot rod. A little sort of two, three thousand reel. Or oh, two thousand reel. I mean this is says I think this one's the four thousand but it is a very small four thousand. I'd say the coarse fishing one, this is more like a 2,000, 2,500. Oh, what should we put on, guys? So if you're jiggling around a bit, eh? Yeah. Probably should stick at one lure a bit more, but we'll try a few different bits and pieces. Actually, you know what I'm going to try? I was going to put a chatterbait on, but I'm going to try one of these tiny little plugs that I bought. We've got a nice bright orange one here, with the water being coloured. They're very light, but... We'll see if we can get it out of the box. I mean, I have got this one. I was stopping for coffee. What I was thinking is, rather than going bigger, because I'm verging on pipe territory now with those chatterbaits, uh, I've just put a little Ricky the Roach Western Shad on there, tiny little one. It's about 12 grams, but I bought a little box jig heads with me all different weights different sizes of jig heads and I've got a little bag of soft plastics so what I was thinking is like I say rather than going bigger go smaller and just I know there's perch here I know there's perch in this peg. There's loads of perch in this peg. But so uh, trying to get that straight. Just trying something ever so small like that. I've got loads of well, all, all, all sorts of bits and bobs to try. Uh, 
tiny little, tiny little crawfish, crayfish things. I'm gonna give this a go. See if it, you know, it's more perch-like. So I'll keep this in my pocket. I'm gonna stop having my coffee. And I'll work this peg, I think, because I know there's perch in here, and I know there's fish here. So why, you know, I was here last week and I had 40, 50 perch, so why, why go anywhere else for now? We'll try this, and if not, then we'll move on. Okay, guys, what I've done is, taken the leader off, just tied it direct on a little jig head. It's quite heavy enough. I'm just going to flick this underarm. Swims well. Got a nice little action on it. Let's get this down beside these pylons. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is because the visibility here in the water is pretty chocolatey taken off the soft plastic. I still kept the jig head. I'm just going to put a half a lobworm on there, or three quarters of a lobworm, and just jig a lobworm along. Bit of smell in the water, bit of attraction. I'm going to still cast it a fair distance. And I'm going to just jig that along. Worm's not gone over the hook. That's pretty good.
I'm just having to go for a few perch and that. I came down last week with a feeder and a waggler and that and had about 40, 50 per little perch on the lobworms and prawns. I thought I'd just try a bit of jigging today if there's any better ones. What's that? Oh, the biggest was about just under two pound last week, but uh, I thought I'd try a little bit of jigging for them, see if there's any decent ones out there. But yeah, a bit of lobworm on there, but uh, water's like really coloured today, isn't it? That's the problem. A lot of rain again. Probably not told, but crystal clear. What's that? You're not told, but it's crystal clear. Yeah. Probably too clear. They normally, yeah, uh, the, the best bet is in, in the broads themselves. If you had a, you know. Up in the shallower water in the river as well. Yeah, out the main flow and stuff. But there's no end of roach here. I mean, last week there's a couple of people on the whip and that, and I was catching one after the other, so. Good luck, mate. Yeah, cheers. See you in a bit. Now it's going to have a flick down here. It's going to almost touch ledger it. Let that sink. Just hold on my line. Cross my fingers. If I feel any twitch, I'm going to just give it a twitch like that. It's just me, just moving it. Just twitching the worm. That's just me, just twitching that line, just twitching it ever so slightly. There's anything down there, sort of impart a little bit of movement into the bait. I've moved swims, I've come to the right the bridge. It's I'm surprised how much it's flowing. And I'm just right opposite the broad. So I'm gonna keep with the same tactics. And I'll just put on a Fox Xander Pro uh, little shad, white shad, because the water's so so coloured, I'm not seeing any law that gets about six, eight inches down and then it's disappeared. So I thought that's my brightest coloured one. It's got a 10 gram uh, jig head on there, changeable jig head. 
just gonna have a coffee, a rest, have a rethink. Um, I'm getting nothing on lobworms, even if I've taken this sort of jig off, put the lobworm straight on the jig head, leaving it down the edge or jigging it along, I've worked all the way along, nothing, not a touch. Um, speaking to two guys, they're fishing float and feeder. One or two tiny little perch and uh, tiny little roach. They're both struggling. A couple of people already gone, but as I say, there's so much rain yesterday and it's come up again, but it is like chocolate at the minute. And it, it's ice cold. The temperatures drop back down again. So it's not holding, it's not ideal conditions at all. But we're going to give it a go and we'll work our way all along the river to as far as you can get it on the bend which is normally a good spot but I was just speaking to a guy John is the name he's on one of the boats I think it was about a week or two ago but he caught a pike out of the board there showed me a picture of it as well him holding it 33 pound on the nose and he reckons there's some bigger ones as well so but anyway We'll get this and we'll get cast out in a minute. Quite weedy here. A bit of weed and everything. So we're a bit lunged at that.
there's quite a choddy down there. Let's get the backpack on, let's work our way along. Rubbish. Nah. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to work my way, or well, I'm going to walk up as far as I can go, which is towards that fence over there, and then I'll work my way back. So I'll meet you when I get there. Come night fishing, think. We'll bring your barrow, your box, do a bit of bream fishing down here. Be bob on. One feeder rod, travel light. Right, let's take this backpack off. Let's just have a little. Uh... What's going on here? Let's 
not go too far, huh? Oh, it's getting quite warm now. Sorry if that sun's a bit bright. We've got a snail. We caught something. Caught a snail. I haven't blanked. Got a bite, guys. Oh, and I missed it. It's gone back to the original tactic. Tiny little jig head. A lobworm. I've had two or three bites now and I missed them all. That's unfortunate. Taking the worm. I don't think it's a biggish fish. I'm just going to see if I can get some ground bait in. Something to attract them. And there can't be many worms left. I've only got two or three by the look of it. Let's have a look. Three worms by the look of it. Let's get some ground bait in there. soil get cloud of water up I'll use all them worms now that's it get a bit of traction in there let's put some more worm on there's not a lot of that worm left on the hook. If any. Well, I think I have to be a bit quicker on the bite as well. Let's 
thread this on. Come on, no backing out now, mate. <laughs> Get on there. Don't really we want to be on that branch. Look at that. Come on, let's not try and spook this swim. Let's just lower this in. That's it. Just letting that sink. Last week, as soon as you put the camera on, no bites. As soon as you turn it off, Closer to the tree. Let that settle. That's better. Let that settle a bit more. Well, it was a real good pull down and it just went. 